guys we are here trying a couple of things new I know Wow <laughs> so not only am I recording this video with my HD webcam just to try it and see if I can honestly there's no particular reason to do it or not I just was experimenting um, but I also got two new stencil designs in for the May release and I got my prototypes in and we need to try them and we need to experiment with them so I figured while we were doing that, we would go ahead and play with making some more melted metallic paste because, you know, since I came up with this DIY recipe, I've had a lot of questions about it and I'm having a lot of fun making it, to be really honest. So we are going to do that and I'm going to get an offset palette knife. This one will work. And um, I am going to do this one first. So this is the first of the new stencils. It is obviously a citrus design um, inspired by, not oranges, as some a lot of people look at it and go, oh, oranges. Um, actually, I was cutting up some lemons one day to put in my tea, which I occasionally like to do if I put anything in my tea. And um, I thought, ooh, that would make a great doodle. <laughs> um, that's how that came about. Um, so this is the first one that we're going to try, which I'm excited. And of course, I want to try it in orange. So I have some PBO orange, what is this, iridescent orange yellow metallic paint. I've got this whole big bin of metallic paint under my desk. So I've got to use some of it. So we're going to squeeze some of this out. Hopefully it's not too old. Nope. We're going to add some orange glitter. This is fire opal Martha Stewart glitter okay and then I have some Lindy's magicals in marigold yellow orange and let's see I need a this is just a coffee stirrer from Starbucks and we'll put a you know about that much however much that much is I don't know I have no idea Okay, and then we will stir that up with some extra heavy gel medium. I like the extra heavy because it's um, really thick and dimensional. It also is a great glue when you're putting heavy things on your art journal page. So it's usually my choice of gel medium to have laying around. And the gel medium is about one to one to the paint. And then just you know, a dab of the other two things. You just want to add some more metallic or iridescence to the paint and the gel medium mixture so that when it dries you really get something that looks like melted metal. You could add iridescent medium to it. That would also make it more, anything that will make it more sparkly. And a little bit of this really goes a long way. I don't think it would really keep very long if you put it in a little container. So I would just mix it as needed. So look at that color. Isn't that pretty? It's already so pretty. All right. So let's see how the new stencil works with it. Got some deli paper. And we're going to lay it on here. Scoop up some of our melted metal. And scrape it through the stencil. Um, and once you do this, let it dry completely, and then you have an interesting piece of collage paper and or collage elements to add to your art journals. Um, you do want to wash your stencils right away. Um, this will clog up your stencils if you let it dry on there. Um, that being said, if you don't quite get them into the water right away, um, let them soak in a wash bin or tub with a little bit of water and a whole bunch of Murphy's oil soap and just let them soak in there and that um, should get paint and whatever else is stuck to your stencils off. So I'm just going around. There we go. Making sure I've got all the holes filled in and then I'm going to lift. This is the exciting part. Look at that. 
And I will probably tear these apart individually so these little edge blobs I'm not worried about. I'm going to take the stencil again and I'm going to just scrape up, you know, the rest of this paint. I won't probably get even one more completed shape, but that's okay. I just want to use it all up. I might get one more. I have hooks above my desk, so when this is done, and I might have just smudged that one, um, when I'm done, I will hang it up above my desk and just let it dry. This won't drip, it's too thick. Okay. Look at that. Love it. All right. So we're going to hang this one up and let it dry. I'm going to put all of this over here so I can take it out to the garage and wash it when we're done. And make sure the lid's on that. Get out another piece of paper and my other mixing plate. Okay. And we'll need another palette knife. That one will work. All right, so the other stencil that we have is this one. This is a feather design. These are all six by six stencils. They're intended for um, and developed for art journaling specifically. Um, and I love the six by six size. It's my favorite, so that's why they're six by six. <laughs> um, so we're gonna try this one on some deli paper. And I thought that we would try making up some pink melted metal paste. This is iridescent violet blue PBO paint. I'll squeeze out a little bit of that and then we have some cyclamen colored sparkle and sprinkle glitter I have this thing of glitter um, underneath my desk um, some of which I've had for a long time because I used to do wholesale buying and was in a crafters cooperative shop so I did a lot of things with glitter some of this that sparkle and sprinkle I think is from there um, and then this is more purple but I thought it would be fun to add um, this is a uh, Lindy's Magical. This is in magenta. It at least looks kind of purple in the in the container, but I thought, well, let's just try it. What's the worst that could happen? I would keep your colors sort of whatever your paint color you're using. Keep it in sort of that family, and not veer too much from that. So, like in the pink one, I wouldn't add. Um, like green. I think that would be weird and you probably will get something that's a little muddy. Okay. So give it a good mix. Make sure you get it well mixed and that you get all the lumps out and you get everything well blended. And these PBO metallics are already in iridescent. Um, so adding that violet to here should just emphasize that. And that's that looks like it's exactly what it's doing. Um, when these dry down, they dry down and look even more like melted metal. And if possible, are even more sparkly or shiny. So... Um, yeah, I think you're going to love it. All right. And if I can, I will stick a couple of stills at the end of this video of um, the pieces when they're dry. I'll try to put a couple of close-up shots. All right, so here's our feather stencil. And I figured I had to try these anyway, these prototypes, and make sure they, the designs were going to work the way I wanted and there wasn't going to be any issues with them before I order stock, so I thought, well, you know what? What better way to do that than to do some of this metal, melted metal paste and give it a try. Now this feather one might be a little challenging to do the scraping with because this centerpiece lifts up. So you do want to, you know, use a gentle hand. Okay, let's see how that turned out if we messed it up or not. Nope. 
Well, the first one I did, but that's okay. So you kind of have to go, when you're painting with it, it's not a big deal, but when you're dragging a, a brush across this one, it is kind of a big deal. Not a brush, what is this, palette knife. And this also isn't my favorite palette knife, so it's just the one I grabbed, so that's probably part of the issue. Let's grab it there. This one's definitely more challenging. Let's try a little bit different way. I have an idea. So this is a old gift card instead of a palette knife. I'm gonna scrape off the palette knife and set it aside. Um, and you can see when you look at the stencil, there's these parts that are loose here, which is what I'm talking about. So if you did it this way, yeah, that's easier. Okay, so this is with a gift card. So that feather goes that way. This feather goes this way. It's also less swipes. Look at that. This feather goes this way. And I bet it's going to be a cleaner print. Yep. That is a cleaner print. And again, I'm looking for something that I can pull the little feathers out, like tear them apart, and use them as collage. I'm not too worried about these blobs at the end. If you are, you probably want to mask off your stencil in case you're messy like me. <laughs> If you're messy like me and you don't want that on there, you want to probably be more careful than I'm being. That's it. There we go. That's a lot of fun. So these are the two different designs that are coming out for May. Um, go ahead and look into my Etsy shop and whoops, look around and um, see about maybe purchasing a couple of them for your collection of art materials. Um, if I can right here, I will post uh, pictures at the end of the video of these when they're dry, close-up shots of the metal, um, and a couple of the other sheets and the other designs that I've done. I'll post some close-up. Um, shot stills or video at the end. So that's it for today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Support my channel if you can, of course, by shopping in the Etsy shop. Um, if you want to join one of my Facebook groups, send me happy mail, send me an email, um, anything like that. All the information for how to do that's in the video description. Of course, leave a comment if you have a question, comment, or concern, because I will answer you right away. And um, the most important thing, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, like make some melted metal paste. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Hey guys, here is a close-up kind of good view of the melted metal pastes that I've been playing with over the last few videos and what they look like when they're dry. I mean, just look at that. And because I've used the golden gel medium, extra heavy gel medium, they're still flexible. So some of the modeling paste will dry hard. When they dry, they'll be dimensional but hard. Gel medium generally stays pretty flexible, so you can really collage it on a number of things.
here are here's the pink color which is just I mean look at that look at that and here look at this orange one that's just gorgeous I mean look at that so I can't wait to use them in a journal page I hope you find this as fun, much fun as I do and uh, go out and have a great day bye